hello guys welcome back to my channel it's good to be here again it's a dear partner so and i hope you guys are all doing great okay and today i'm going to show you how to make a beautiful corset dress very stylish one yes and i'll make use of this beautiful african print this is actually a leftover um fabric i have somewhere so i'm going to use it to create this um, corset dress today and um here is the pattern I have from my previous video. I showed you how to create this pattern. I will have this linked up in the description box. Okay, so if you've not watched this, please go ahead and do that. Um, this is quite easy and detailed, well detailed tutorial. Like I broke it down so much for even a beginner to be able to understand. Like this is so so easy, super easy. Trust me when I say that. It's super super easy to understand. Okay, yes. So um that's it so here is the back piece and the yoke as well for this and also here is the front piece okay yeah so that's it so what i'm going to do now is just to transfer all these patterns to my fabric and i'll cut it all out that's what i'm going to do and i'm also going to cut out the lining as well okay so that's what i am going to do now okay yes so that's it so here yeah, i have it all cut out i've cut it all out and i've also applied some light if interfacing on it all okay i also did the same thing to the lining as well just every single thing i have on the pattern i have on here so for the yoke i use um this black fabric to do that okay yes although i would prefer to have this without um, the yoke so I'm not decisive yet, okay, because I really just want it just simple, just to have maybe a strip, a long strip attached to it. But I'm not decisive yet, but as we go on, I would probably know what's next to do. Yeah. So that's it on this. Then for the back piece as well, the same thing. I also cut it all out alongside with the line. So just like I said when I was creating the pattern, it's very, very important to always you know mark out um the point where you have this um the corset so like i said it could be a little bit confusing so if you look at the part where i ironed out my interfacing here i also have my wording added to it i i marked it all out just an arrow showing that the point where i'll be able to join the two piece together okay so it's very very important to you know take note of that for one and for the other one as well so that's it and the same thing i also did the marking on the lining as well like it just makes everything easy so that when you're joining there's no form of confusion anyway so that's it and um, this is just practically like the, let's say the major part of it all yeah you have to do some little bit of work so now that i've cut all this all out the next thing i'm going to do is just to start joining this part together like this because i'm going to start by this i'll join this part together together like this and the same thing and i also do the same thing to the linings as well okay yes so that's what i'm just going to do and um, i'll come back to show you um, the next step okay yeah so here guys i'm done um joining the parts together and the lining as well so here is the back piece i'm done with that and also um here is the lining then here is the front piece as well and also the lining okay and i've also you know created the pop so what i'm going to do now is to use the lining to turn it all over for the back piece and for the front piece as well so i'll fix in my cup here for the main fabric and also um for the lining as well i'm going to also fix in the cup okay so um if i'm going to um fix in my yoke the first thing and also um a strip creates my elastic casing so the first thing I'm going to do is to first of all create my elastic casing. Let's say I think I will use a black, probably a black um, piece for this. So I will use like two inches strip of whichever uh, fabric I will use as my casing. So I'm going to um, fold it into two. This is just an illustration. I'll place it on this line where you have the same line, one at the center, one at the side, and other parts. You can still add as much as you want, okay? So I'll use the two inches strip. I'll just place it this way. When I sew, then I turn it to the other side and sew it all up. So this is going to create my casing, okay? So like I said, you can do as much as you want. You can just do one, two, three. You can add extra two by the side or so as much as you want. That depends on you. So once I've done creating my casing, okay, then I'll now fix in my cup. For, for my cup, 
where you have the seam line here, I have to match it up with the seam line I have here. Very important. So that as I match it up, then I'm going to sew this way, all the way. Okay, and the same thing to the other side. So my pop will be, will, will be inserted there. Then I'll do the same thing. I'll also match the same line with the one I have there as well. And sew it this way and this way. Okay, I hope you understand that. So once that is done, um, I'll do the same thing for the lining. But before using the lining to turn it over, this is the point where I'll fix in my yoke. Okay, so if I'm going to fix in my yoke, I will take it and place it over it this way and sew it all up. Okay, so this is the point I need to just sew it little at the edge. Okay, so I'm placing the, the right side of the yoke. Okay, so this is a net. It doesn't really have a right or wrong side. But if you're using a, a fabric, the right side facing the fabric, you sew on it before using the lining, uh, before using the lining to turn it all over. Okay, very important. That's if you're going to be fixing it. But if you're not going to fix the yoke, then you just use the lining to turn it all over. It's as simple as that. So before I do that, I need to iron this all up before fixing it so that this cup can be well, you know, relaxed. And also important to notch it as well, okay? Because it's curved surface, so you need to notch it all up. So I'm going to do that, okay? Then, of course, I will, you know, come back um, to show you uh, the next step. So here, as you can see, I'm done fixing the cup. And for this casing, I used both fabric, both the plain and the, and the dark one. I just mixed it up a bit, okay? Yes. So, um, although it was, not, it was not planned anyway, I wanted to use the black fabric, but I just felt it was too much. So, I had to use the main fabric to cover it up a bit. So, at this point, we're going to add boning. This is the point where you need to add boning. And adding boning, you, you add it um, not exactly to the tip. You stop at least half an inch or three quarter away from the edges so that you'll be able to sew this up to the lower part of uh, whichever dress you're going to put it in. And also for the curve, I had to also trim out a bit, about three quarter inch at the upper side of the curve. So in other words, um, the curve, you know, initially what we drafted out was um, six inches. So I brought it down a bit to about seven inches, okay? So that's why, you know, it's lower there. So I had to trim it out a bit. So that's it. So what I'm going to do now is to take the back piece. I'm just going to um, fix up the back piece. I'll be joining it um, to this side. Okay, I'll fix it all up. The same thing. Okay. Then after that, then I'll join it to the lower piece. So here I've joined the um, back piece to the front piece by the sides. So I have a very long piece here. And if you notice, I've also fixed um, the strip. So what I did in fixing this was to um, take my tape. Um, you know, here I have my cup. So that means here automatically represents my um, underboard. So I just placed my underboard because it will be difficult to actually get to where your breast point is. So I just placed my underboard measurement at 14. Okay, so it's a very good way of taking note to know exactly know where this top part is. And so what I have here was 7.5. Okay, at this top after placing my tape here. Okay, so that gives me an idea of um the amount of strip I'm supposed to fix. So 7.5, which means my strip is going to be 7.5 for the front and 7.5 for the back. Okay, so because I'm cutting it together, that makes it 15. So I had to cut out a long strip of 15 by one inch. Just cut out, say, one and a half, folded it into two, and here I have it. So 15, but I actually made it um, 16 because I used half inch to join it um, this side and half inch to join it at the other side. So the best way to have fixed this strip was before the lining. So this, this edge part should have gone inside the lining. It's fine, okay? Yeah. So, and also, if you notice, the distance between each strip depends on you anyway. So, if you notice, the distance between my strip from here to here is actually 9 inches, okay? So, it's therefore, it's okay. you can do 8, you can do 9 uh, for a, a bigger, uh, you know, chest, broad chest or boss, you can actually do 10, okay? So, I'm using 9 here for the distance between the strip, okay? Yes, so that's it. So, here I have here my strip and I've joined the side. So what is left now is just to, you know, finally fix this piece to um, the lower parts, depending on whatever it is 
you want to fix it. So for here, I want to attach um, um, a flare at the lower part, okay? Yes, so having in mind that this now represents my half length, right? Okay, so and the full um, measurement I'm working with is um, 56 actually for my full length. So what I have here is 16. Okay, so from here to here I have 16, right? So if I take it away from the full length, that's going to be 40. Okay, so I need to cut out the lower part that I'm going to be using to join this part. But so I want to cut it out as um, a 180 degree flare. That's a um, a half circle flare. Okay, so um, now first of all, I'm going to take note of what I have here, which represents the waist. Okay, and having in mind that here also have a zipper allowance of one inch, so my waist was actually um, 36. So, so if I check what I have from here to this other end, what I have here is um, 30, 38, okay? What I have here is 38, so which means 36 plus, including the one inch um, zipper allowance, okay? Yeah, so which makes it 38. So in cutting out my flare, I'm going to make use of this um, black um, plain fabric, okay? That's what I'm going to be using. And here I have um, three yards of this actually. It's what I'm going to use for this. So remember I said the full length was 60. Take away the half length 16. I'm left with 40 inches. So 40 inches for the length. Then for the waist measurement, which is going to be my sacrifice, I already have here 38, right? Along this part. So which means I'm going to be dividing um, 38. I'll divide it by 3.142. And if I do that, if I say that a divide by 3.142, that's to get my circumference. So what I'm having here is 12. Okay, yes, 12. So I'm going to be folding this in a triangular form. So the first thing I'm going to do is to take, remember I said this is three yards. Okay, remember three yards per yard. A yard is 36 inches, right? So um, the three yards is what? 36 times three which is 108. So I have here 108 um, I mean length of this fabric along the 60 inches, right? Yeah, I hope you can see this now. So I said the 108 length, which is the three years, folded it into two this way, still along um, the, the 60 inches. So one end is open, the other end where you have it unfold, this way, I'm going to be forming a triangle. This, like this. You can see this, me forming a triangle. I'm taking it over again. Along this 180, folded into two, one end is open. The other end where you have it unfold is where I'm going to be forming my triangle. This end, I'm just going to be forming a triangle like so. Can you see this at this edge? I'm forming a triangle this way. So I'm just taking it all the way. It's very, very um, easy. I'm just demonstrating this um, because of the beginners, right? Yeah, so this is it. You can see this. So I have my triangle already this way. So what I'll do now is just to turn it over so that I have the part that is on full. I have it facing me. So you can see. So this side is open, this side I have it also. So now you can see that it's folded into four. One, two, three, four. So this is it. So remember, this is the three years. You can actually do two and a half. The only thing is that you end up having a joining at the lower part, okay? Yeah, but I don't want that. So I'm using this um, um, entire three years. Luckily, I have enough of this fabric. So that's what I'm using. So you can see the length, how long it is already. So uh, on this top part is where we are going to mark out the circumference of what we need, which is um, 38. Remember we said 38. 38, if I divide it by um, the 3.142, that's the measurement for cutting um, a half circle, and we had 12, okay? So I'm just going to place my tape at the beginning of this flare here, the tip of this triangle here. I'm going to place it here and mark out 12 inches all the way right so 
So here, if I place it here, I start taking my 12 inches mark and I move my tape and keep marking my 12 inches all the way. You can see this. So you might want to cross check. If I place this and to take what I have here, what I have here is like 9.5. And 9.5, if I multiply it by um, 9.5, if I multiply it by 4, which is the amount of fold we have, I already have here 38 inches, which is exactly what we need, right, for the upper part. I hope you understand. So here I've gotten this. So what is left now is to get the remaining length that I need. Remember I said it was 56 full length, take away half length of 16, I'm left with 40. So I'm going to mark it out 40. Um, I also need to add um, like extra one inch allowance. That's, and now I'm going to be using half inch to join it to the upper part and a little bit of fold at the lower part. Even one and a half inches extra allowance is okay. So I'll just um, spread this over. Then from this point where I have marked uh, my circumference, I'm going to get what 40 inches plus the extra joining allowance. So I hope we'll get 40 here and even more than. So I have 40. So I'm just going to add extra. Um, I'll make it two inches. I'll add extra two inches. Okay. So I'll use one half inch to join it at the upper part. Then I'll use like one inch for the or one and a half inch for the folding. Okay. So I'm going to mark 42 inches. So I will take it all the way round, okay, to get my, my cut. So here I have it cut out. You can see the lower part as well. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is just to spread this open. So I have my flare in this length. So the next thing I'm going to do is to join it to this upper piece. That's as simple as that. So I'm just going to join this to the upper piece. Ideally, you get the center by folding it into two and then um, you notch it. You notch the center like so. Okay. And also for this one as well, you also get the center as well and then um, give it a notch so where you have this notch i'm just going to start joining it that's how let the two notches al um, align with each other so i'm just going to place it over it like this you know you're going to be so facing it this way to sew okay so i'll just align it together and sew from one end of the notch to the other end then from the center as well i take it all the way to the other end i have a little um, leftover piece okay so um, if it's going to be enough i'll just do a little peplum just a little bit peplum so about four inches thereabouts so i can also attach it as well that's if it's going to be enough if it's not then i'll just go with what i have of course if i'm cutting that out it's also the same process it's as simple as that. After joining it, I'll just fix the zipper and the back. Then I'll hem the lower parts of this flare. I'm just going to fold it this way and hem the lower part. So that's it, guys. So once I'm done with this, I'll come back and show you the final look of this beautiful dress. Okay? Yeah.